Welcome to this tutorial. Now we are going to create a Java program for connecting the Oracle database. So to start the Eclipse IDE, go to Start button, choose Program, then choose Oracle WebLogic, then Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse. While starting the Eclipse IDE, it will ask the workspace name to store our Java programs. So I choose in D drive demo workspace. So the programs will be stored in D colon demo workspace. Then click OK. The clip is getting ready. So this is a Eclipse IDE. So while starting, while starting a new workspace, it will display the welcome screen. So this welcome screen contain the details about the Eclipse IDE. So the overview about the Eclipse, what's new in the Eclipse IDE, then samples, tutorials, then our webpage. So while clicking this icon, it will connect to the internet and uh, display the details about this Eclipse IDE. So now we are not going to see uh, the details. So just clicking the close button in the welcome screen. Then this Eclipse ID is used to develop a different kind of project. Now we are going to create the Java project. So we have to choose the Java environment. Go to open perspective icon, then click it, then choose Java. So this is a Java environment. So now we are going to create a Java project by clicking the file menu, select new Java project. It will ask the project name. I am giving JDBC. Then click finish. So while expanding this project, it contains SRC and JRE system library. So the SRC will contain the class Java classes and the JRE system library is a default library which is added while creating a new project. So it contains a default JAS which is used to run our Java program placed in the SRC folder. Okay. Then now we are going to create a class. So to create a class select SRC then right click it select new class. So now the give the class name connection so if we need to add a, a main method just click the checkbox in this main method then click finish our class is ready so this is the main method is automatically added just removing the comments which is unnecessary Okay. Here we are going to give the Java code. So this Java program is need to add the Oracle database. So we have to import one package named as java.sql.star. So this package will automatically import needed classes for regarding the SQL package. So I already copied the Java code. I just paste here. It throws an error. We have to add an throws keyword to throw the error in the class. So just add throws declaration exception class. So this exception class is common to all the errors. So whatever error happen in this code, it will display that error in the console screen. So uh, exception is a common class. Okay, now the class is ready. We can run it. But if we run this class, it will throw an exception. What exception? Let's see.
Oracle JDBC driver, Oracle driver. That is the class not found exception. What it means? It means this Java code contains a Oracle that is a um, Oracle related code, right? So to connect the Oracle, we have to add an additional jar in this project. So to add extra additional jar, select the project, right click it, go to properties, select Java build path, then select libraries tab, then choose add external jars. While choosing it, it will go to our hard drive. Here. So the jar is saved in a Oracle. Saved in the hard drive. While Eclipse install, it will automatically add it. So go to computer, C colon, Oracle, middleware, WL server underscore 10.3, server, lib, OJDBC 6 jar. Select the jar, then click open. So the jar is added here, then click OK. So now if we expand here, it will add a reference library. Reference library means from the project to our hard drive. So while expanding it, it will add the, it adds the OJDP 6 jar which is placed in C colon, Oracle, middleware, WL server, server lab. Now we can run this program. Select the class, right click it, run as Java application. Sure. The table is created. So we can check it by clicking, by opening the Oracle database. Go to Start menu, Programs, Oracle Database 10 g Expression, Database, Home page. This is a home page. Scott, then Tiger. Username password. After giving the username password, click Login. So, go to Object Browser. So our table created in the name as employee detail. So employee detail. ID no. The table is created with the two fields with the signature which we specified. So ID with ten characters, the name with twenty characters. Right? So now uh, there is no data in this table because just now we had created this table. So our table is created. What's up? So our Java program is connected to the Oracle database. So this is a procedure to create the Java program to connect the Oracle database.